Yeah. Yeah. Lines in natural environments, it's all about solitude and quiet and peace and being in nature and doing something in an amazing way inside nature, you know, and here it's totally the antithesis of that. There's people everywhere, they're shouting, there's yelling, there's sirens, there's horns, you know. You're in the middle of a city and it's a very unique experience and at first it's really distracting but then you learn to take that kind of fear and work with it just like any aspect of highlighting. There's definitely an aspect of art to it, I would say. It's, it's much more of a performance art as opposed to a sport or something else. And in that you have just people taken out of their daily routine and amazed by something that's happening in their environment. And in, in that respect, I think there's a lot to be said for, for urban projects because they just, they're in completely unexpected and there's something that you don't see every day. I mean, when you see these tourists on the street looking up and seeing highlining for the first time, you just see this expression on their face that they're really enjoying it. It's something really new and unique. And we have all levels of slackliners at the Urban Highland Festival, and that's what's important as well. They get to see every side of the sport. They get to see the people who are really good, who are doing tricks and having no problem which looks a lot like a performance, and then they see the people out there who never walked a highline before and just fall over and over and over and over. And I think that's important for people, to see the difference, to know that it's not easy, that it takes work and skill. I think highlining still has a long way to go. I do think that there, there are more people getting better quickly in highlining, but there's still not that many people at all. You know, it's, it's a, in terms of a billion plus people who have access to being able to learn these skills and, and be able to push themselves to that level, and we're looking at like 20 people <laughs> in the world who can do this, which is unique. It's super unique. So I, I really, really can't wait to see what comes in the future because I know it's going to be crazy. Rig that gap, we walk the skyline, herb and high line, herb and high line. I keep my eyes on the horizon, herb and high line, herb and high line. I just smile, cause I don't mind.